France lost. That means, uh... V for victory. No. That's how you flip people off and... Is that true? Yeah. I don't think so. That can't be right. Sure. V for victory, though. Let's go with that. Hey, welcome on back. Do you mean the movies? You mean the movies? Tonight, we get a special request. Special request? From Uber Geek. Granddaddy Uber Geek coming in hot. That's right. He's requested a Winston Churchill movie. Darkest Hour. The Darkest Hour. Starring Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman is a chameleon, so mm -hmm. I can't wait to see him playing Winston Churchill. Yeah, and apparently he won an Academy Award for this performance. Really? Much deserved over his long, awesome career. Yeah. There's been many roles I feel like he's... He could have won it for. Could have won it for, and he finally did for this. So I'm excited to see this performance. This is a movie we both haven't seen. Oh, awesome. It'll be good then. And Uber Geek shout out is for his own channel that he'll be starting soon. Nice. So Where's Uber out. Geek? All right. If you see his name in the comments, uh, give him a follow. Give him a subscribe on YouTube. He's starting it soon. He's going to hopefully do some pop culture history and he's getting ready for the new Lord of the Rings Amazon series. So interesting. Yeah. So check it out. The Uber Geek on YouTube. Awesome. Thanks, Uber Coming Geek. Soon. Thank you, thank you. Well, should we jump in? Check out Darkest Hour? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're watching The Darkest Hour tonight. Just Darkest Hour. There's no the. No the. Sorry. Darkest Hour. Yeah. The Darkest Hour is a completely different movie. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah. Check out our uh, Patreon down below if you want early access, full-length commentaries, or access to pulls up with people we watch next. Or if you want to make a special request like Uber Geek did. Check it out. Links down below. We also have Twitter and Instagram. So if you're into social media, you want to follow us, you can check us out at You Me The Movies. Yeah, check it out. At You Me The Movies. That's right. Let's watch Darkest Hour. Let's do it. I already like it. You just like focus features? Or are you a big fan of Comcast? I thought it was like part of the score. It's just focus feature sound. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Whatever. It's very quiet. Yeah. You can hear the heartbeat. Maybe it's not a heartbeat. May 9th, 1940. Hitler has invaded Czechoslovakia, Poland, Denmark, and Norway. Three million German troops are now poised on the Belgian border, ready to conquer the rest of Europe. In Britain, Parliament has lost faith in its leader, Neville Chamberlain. The search for a replacement has already begun. That Hitler was a dick. What a douche, right? Darkest hour. Then let me leave no doubt about my feelings regarding Mr. Chamberlain's future as Prime Minister. Not an ideal time for a change in leadership, huh? He has proved himself incapable of leading us in wartime. Look at him just sitting there taking it. <laughs> I don't feel like I'd be that good at just taking an ass beating in front of the entire parliament, right? Where's Winston? Ensuring his fingerprints are not on the murder weapon. He left his hat, though. But on whomever the task may fall, he shall be required to explore every avenue. Well, gentlemen, there is only one candidate, only one man the opposition will accept. Oh, sure. No, no, no. No, this is totally absurd. Oh, his own party doesn't like him very much? I don't know much about Winston Churchill. Oh, we're about to learn all about him, I think. I know, I'm pretty excited. May 10th. He mumbles. So it's almost impossible to catch everything. Be prepared to type fast, short burst, and double spaced. He hates single spaced. He hates it. Good luck. French ambassador, sir. <coughs> oh, uh, they've already invaded Belgium. Holland and Belgium. To the French ambassador. A German. No, scrap that. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. 
it's striking those keys in a normal fashion. It's awful in that. I can't, I can't hear myself <laughs> think. <coughs> Single space. Single space. Were you not brief, young lady? Single space. Right. Ta -ta -ta. Well, he seems friendly. <laughs> Him the most. No, no, it's not. It's not him. It's me. He's 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 a man, like any other. Big pains in the ass. <laughs> I feel like you have more in common with him than I do. Because of my because of my short fuse. Mm -hmm. Is that <laughs> is that why? <laughs> You've become rough sarcastic and overbearing and rude. Is this about the new girl? Rough, sarcastic, overbearing and rude. Is that me? I don't think I'm rude. I mean, rough, sarcastic and overbearing. <laughs> Not rude. <laughs> I want others to love and respect you. As I do. Behind every great man, there's a great woman. Yeah. A better woman. Mm, debatable. <laughs> Somebody's got to help them keep their straight, you know. What is she from? It's Lily James, baby driver. That's not what I'm. I'm recognizing her from something else, a different period piece. I feel like it's from the palace. She's on Downton Abbey. I'm not really seen Downton Abbey. And Mamma Mia. <laughs> Layton. Mamma Mia too. She's the young mm -hmm. Donna. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen it. <laughs> Let them see your true qualities, your courage. My poor judgment. Your, your lack of vanity. Yeah, my eye and will. Your sense of humor. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Which self should I... Me today. Quite the hat collection. May wisdom prove enough. Mm. Who's in that case? I don't know, matches? He was known for his speeches, right? He gave excellent speeches during wartime. Mm -hmm. The only bits I know about Winston Churchill are actually from The Queen on Netflix. <laughs> it's The Queen, right? The Crown. The Crown. Yeah. The Crown on Netflix. I believe I can boil an egg. But only because I've seen it done. <laughs> oh, look at the way he's postured himself for that walk. He's, he's method. Is he a method actor? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's nailed that Winston Churchill posture <laughs> and that was quite easy just wiped his hand off on his jacket i shall endeavor to be available on mondays four o'clock i nap at four is that permissible i work late <laughs> and perhaps lunchtime lunch mondays he's like i don't miss meals your Majesty, Prime Minister. He naps at four o'clock. <laughs> he works late. Yeah. If he didn't nap, perhaps he wouldn't have to work so late. <laughs> How long do you think he naps for? Two hours. Halifax would never turn it down. He's the fourth son of an earl. Oh, but he did turn it down. He he didn't want to step into the role during the war, yeah. right? Like. We all did, you see, in our own way. And now, today, we are to receive... No resentments, huh? My beloved husband, the Prime Minister. <laughs> the Prime, Prime Minister. Minister. Here's to, um... To not buggering it up. <laughs> <laughs> May 10th. Oh, May 13th. So two days after he started his job. Um. Guessing this is his first session of Parliament. 
looks like it. My name to recall its approval and to declare its confidence in the new government. I'm coming out in a state of nature. <laughs> I can answer in one word. Victory. Victory at all costs. For without victory, there can be no survival. Consent. <coughs> well, we, we have, have to, to start, start somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> I think that's like a super famous speech, though, now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Did Winston Churchill start the oh snap scene? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be finished. And you would agree to be prime minister. Well, with Winston out of the way, who can say? But the important thing, Neville, is that... That's a no. He's not ready for that either. ...conversation or any other form within or without these rooms regarding what happens here is a statutory offence. Punishable by up to two years imprisonment with hard labor. That's the war cabinet room. Never mind your own business. Stay the f out of it where you are. <laughs> Here's you. She's got her own office. <laughs> Collectively, we are looking at the collapse of Western Europe in the next few days. Should the public be told? First, we must rouse our old friends to an heroic resistance. France must be saved. It's kind of fun watching this at the start of uh, Band of Brothers because we're seeing the British side of things mm -hmm. right? from behind the scenes. This one. Uh, tell me how you, you plan to come to attack. There is no plan. We really must come to attack. Well, you, 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 you must. Um... Il délire. Il délire complètement. Ces Anglais. We may have to replace him, Bertie. To replace him? We already talk about replacing him like the day he's in power. Sealed? I am sealed in the privy. And I can only deal with one <laughs> time. <laughs> We will all economize. Only uh, the four cigars a day. You are insufferable! Is there anything else? Yes. My love for you. Uh. <laughs> In 1904, and, and, and I simply stood speechless. Well, I must have been very beautiful. She's trying to kiss her ass. <laughs> Does that make up for the fact that they don't have any money? <laughs> Power of love, baby. Are we terribly old? Yes, I'm afraid you are. <laughs> Is France lost? That means, uh... V for victory. No. That's how you flip people off and... When you're the Prime Minister? No, in... in England. No, it's not. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. I don't think so. That can't be right. Sure. V for victory, though. Let's go with that. Are we ready? <laughs> One moment. We are going live. One moment, damn you! Three, two, one. I speak to you. For the first time, as Prime Minister, one bond unites us all to wage war until victory is won. Whatever the cost, whatever the cost, whatever the cost. conquer we must. As conquer we shall. Well done, sir. She like all of his speeches because she taps him. Definitely. She's his hype gal. Well, in the poorer quarters, that gesture means something else. What does it mean? Well, I wouldn't like to say, sir. I spent time in a South African prison. 
Up your bum. Up your bum. <laughs> Up your bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, indeed. Don't jump your bum. I told you. You said something else. Well, uh, middle finger means like up your mouth means like go f, f yourself. Hmm. I believe I have just received a royal ref on the knuckles. <laughs> on our part, all our forces under Lord Gort are are trying to withdraw to the French coast to Dunkirk. How many of our men are trapped? All of them. Our country's entire professional soldiery. And we can see no clear way to rescue them. Did we ever watch Dunkirk? That's a good one. The entire British army by the next few days. That's correct. It's a royal f up. But Dunkirk happens and... Yeah. Really? Really? Yes, sir! It is the reason I sit in this chair! Issue the order to the Kelly garrison. Confirm it has been done. Somebody get Tom Hardy in a fighter jet right now. Edward, simply to meet the Italian ambassador Bastianini, discuss and find out their price. Is that a yes or a no? They look like disdain at the idea of even talking to them. Is he on the phone with Italy now? No. Mr. President. Mm. Winston. Franklin. <laughs> Calling in a favor. It's a mission uh, to send uh, an aircraft carrier to pick up the B-40 fighter planes we purchased from you. New law preventing transshipment of military equipment. Oh, we, we, we paid for them with the money that we, that we borrowed from you. <laughs> the money that we <laughs> borrowed from you. Well, I guess you could push them yourself. Damn things have wheels. Are you f***ing me? <laughs> we could do that, Prime Minister. That's not helpful. Before Pearl Harbor, the USA was not doing anything. Yeah. So, like, Pearl Harbor was, like, a huge blessing for them mm. then? Because without that, we would have just been hanging back, saying good luck. Until eventually, the Germany, I mean, Germany, Germany would have come this way. Yeah. And the Axis forces, huh? I just do not know my World War II history at all. The Japanese general said we should not, not attack the United States because it's just going to wake a sleeping dragon or something like that. Uh, I hope I didn't wake you. Uh, not at all. I was just reading the Bible. <laughs> Exodus. <laughs> well, civilian boats, uh, as many as you can get your hands on. Anyone with a pleasure craft bigger than 30 foot that can get to France. But he's still there. Um, right. He's like, great! Super! Well, I'll have the BBC issue the order. Good. Yeah, I mean, weird that they're all just like, well, that sucks. We're gonna lose 300,000 troops. Yeah. Bummer. Can't get them out. He did it right that time. Yeah. <laughs> Evacuate myself and my family to Canada. So they can help push planes across the border? So, <laughs> pull planes across the border? My, my mother was glamorous, but perhaps too widely loved. My father was like God, busy elsewhere. Both slutty, is that what he's saying? <laughs> <laughs> Hence the dying of syphilis. He doesn't want to listen to Hitler's bullshit. He knows a bullshitter when he sees when he hears one, right? Because mm -hmm. he kind of is one. Bullshitter knows a bullshitter. That's right. 
wish to get us so deeply involved in negotiations that we should be unable to turn back. Nonsense, Bastianini informed me. I propose... The only slippery slope. Would you stop interrupting me while I am interrupting you? <laughs> <laughs> that we are clearly losing. Losing? Europe is still... Europe is lost. Of attitudes like that. Choice is yours, Winston. You have 24 hours to enter into peace talks so or I shall resign. Nobody likes you so much. So does he negotiate or what? <laughs> Your evacuation, however, will not take place. She's like processing now what she's just written and it's like, oh, sh <laughs> What would you like to know? How many men will survive? Come with me. I wonder if she's got like a brother in the military or something. But enemy aircraft is attacking us constantly. I, I only hope in Dunkirk is thick cloud cover. But the skies remain clear. Not even then. So pray for rain. It's supposed to be Calais. Yeah. Ones that were sacrificed, basically. Brutal. I mean, brutal decision. Mm -hmm. There's reasons why you don't want to be people, a person in power. So you have to make decisions like that. Belgium has fallen. They will surrender at midnight. France will soon follow suit. Yeah, that was another thing is he didn't want to talk peace until France surrendered or to get out of our present difficulties. If I were told what the German terms were, well, then I'd, I'd be prepared to, to consider them. It's like, it's not even June. They're desperate, right? They're in desperate times. And Pearl Harbor doesn't happen until December. So... America doesn't even get involved until December or after. We've got six months still to just... Ugh. Uh, uh, to, to consider... To consider... Um, He's not getting his naps is the problem, right? Won't come. They will come, sir. No one can put words together like you. She definitely is her, the hype girl. Yeah, it's her job. Take notes, make him feel good about himself. Darling. Winston, darling. You've hit the darkest hour part. Perhaps. You have a visitor. Look at that boat of a bed. Uh, who? The king. Which king? <laughs> oh, uh... King. <laughs> well, if it isn't him, it's a marvelous impersonation. The, the, the war cabinet are drafting a letter to Mussolini, asking him to broker talks with Hitler. Then Halifax was correct. Yeah, it's his f idea, right? I thought Halifax said the king supported a peace talk. Doesn't sound like he does. Demeter does not say that. We shall work together. You shall have my support at any hour. Beat the buggers. All right. That's literally exactly what he needed, right? And I no longer scare you. A little. But I can cope. Well, she's took him long enough. Yeah. Operation Dynamo waits on your command. Admiral. Go now. Initiate yeah. Dynamo. And may God watch over them all. Should we pause this and watch Dunkirk again real quick? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh-huh. Left his matches somewhere. Is he going into the underground? I don't know. We've lost the prime minister. <laughs> He's chasing, chasing after that guy who had a cigarette in his hand. He's like, he's got a light. I need his light. <laughs> he was saying earlier he went down. He never took it, though. Yeah. yeah that doesn't sound so hard. Nice, sir. Thank you. Does anyone have a match? It's like, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> Use my match. Bricklayer, we shall have great need of bricklayers soon. Our business will be looking up. <laughs> it looks like you. Madam, all babies look like me. <laughs> it's true. Uh, let me ask you something. That's been weighing on my mind. And King told him to ask the people, right? Mm hmm And and the enemy were to appear on those those streets above. What would you do? Fight. Fight the fascists. They would never take Piccadilly. <laughs> <laughs> never take Piccadilly in <laughs> Get very favorable terms from Mr. Hitler if we enter into a peace deal with him right now. What would you say to that? Never! 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 never. Well, you will never give up. No, never. Are you crying? I am. <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. I blab a lot, you know. Did that really happen? I don't know. Had to have. You can embellish a lot of things, but you can't embellish that. I feel like it would be the easiest thing to embellish, actually. But <laughs> I have thought very carefully to consider entering into negotiations with, with that man. I like his other names for him. <laughs> That if this long island story of ours is to end at last, then let it end only when each one of us lies choking in his own blood upon the ground. We must both know of his eye and force a vote of no confidence. Well, let us go to the Commons first. Yeah, I don't think a vote of no confidence would go over well right now. That rise he just got. Mm hmm and the French Republic, linked together in their cause and in their deeds, will defend their native soil to the utmost of their strength. She's hyped. Until in God's good time, the new world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. Politicians are f***ing stupid. Halifax is pissed. All right, let's all wait till that one guy decides it's okay. Oh, he says it's okay. Okay, let's wave our flags. <laughs> Cough. Almost all of the 300,000 troops at Dunkirk were carried home by Winston's civilian fleet. Neville Chamberlain died six months later. Viscount Halifax was soon removed by Winston from the war cabinet and sent to Washington. On 8 May, five years later, Britain and its allies would declare victory. Later that year, Winston was voted out of office in the general election. Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill. All right. Darkest hour. Yeah. The story of Winston Churchill before the war. 
just getting, as well, before, the war yeah, was starting like, for them, yeah. Before the the real battles began. The battle at home. Right, broke. the battles for them, the major battles for them. Maybe. Yeah. So what do you think? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Good history lesson. Mm-hmm. Wonder how many liberties were taken. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if this is based on a book as well, or like a, a biography of Winston. I don't know. Yeah. Makes, I want to know if Miss Layton's brother made it. She said he didn't. But I don't know. Did Was she for sure, or he just never made it to Dunkirk? It seems like she okay. was fairly certain he didn't make it to Dunkirk. I think she knew when she touched the map with the the pins in it. Yeah. I think she already knew that where she he was, was at. He was gone when she was, was touching it. Yeah. Hmm. So what do you think, of Gary Oldman? Is Winston Churchill? He did great. Again, you can't hardly even tell it's Gary Oldman. Like yeah. you just don't know it's him. I wonder how much of that was prosthetics. I would imagine. Or did he go on the Winston Churchill diet I for mean, like nine months? Oof, he did, <laughs> right? It must be prosthetics, but goodness, good yeah. for him if he didn't. He always disappears into his role. He really does. Yeah, he, true he chameleon. A, yeah. He is amazing. So I, he's probably one of my top five favorite actors of all time. So He's a good one. I've never disliked a performance from him. Well, there you go. So. Then Lily James as yep. Miss Lee. She's beautiful. Yeah. Definitely one of my British crushes, so. she Ray? No. She was the girl in Baby Driver. I don't remember Baby at the Driver. Diner. Uh, I would not remember her, her from that. I don't even remember the guy from Baby Driver. I don't picture anybody's face from that movie. It's not a movie that I like. Really? It's one of my favorites. All right, well, what else is on your mind after that? I uh, need to learn more about World War two and one i yeah. literally have no idea what world war one well, we just about. started band of brothers so we'll get the world war two perspective yeah, from at least the u.s side but there's mm-hmm. definitely a bunch of different yeah fronts for that so clearly started a long long before mm-hmm. the u.s was involved yeah it's interesting to look at the dates of i feel like so many people are like world war two buffs mm-hmm. right like tons of people are world war two buffs it's like the most popular war <laughs> That well, makes it's the sense. greatest war, as they say. But I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's very interesting. But for some reason, I have more interest in the the people and their lives after. So, like the fifties and yeah, the, the rebuilding. Age. Yeah. I mean, Winston Churchill was talking about we're going to need lots of bricklayers. Yeah. And that was true because lots of things got. Blown bombed up. and yeah. blown to hell. So, yeah. um, if I recall, Great Britain did take quite quite a beating. Yeah, I, I think the Germans bombed London. Yeah, something like so, yeah, they were had to like go in the underground. They had to use the underground for like bomb shelters. Right? Yeah, crazy. You could spend the rest of your life just reading about World War Two. I think probably. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, thank you, Uber Geek. Yeah, for the fantastic movie selection. Great a great performance. That's right. I mean, when you play Winston Churchill that amazingly, and he's such an awesome orator to begin with mm-hmm. as a person of history, how do you not win an Oscar? It's true. Right? When you're just saying the words that he said that yeah. inspired a nation. Right? Yeah. So, inspired many nations. Mm-hmm. It, I find it interesting that he was voted out as soon as the war ended. He was then voted back in. Later. Later. Yeah, voted out, and then, uh, yeah, voted back in when Queen Elizabeth took over at some point. Okay. All right. I believe. I'm pretty sure. I only know from the crown. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what should people comment on after? Favorite Winston Churchill quote. Yeah. What's your favorite Winston Churchill quote? Yeah. I wonder if he ever did say all babies look like me, or if that was just kind of... Uh, I think he did, actually. Think so? Yeah, I think that was I've been saying quote. that forever. Every time you show me a baby picture, it just looks like Winston Churchill to me. Yeah, you probably said that because he said it about himself. I know, but I've been saying it forever. Oh, well, then he... Because he said it. ...made the quote, apparently. No, I, I'm not saying that. I'm just <laughs> saying it's a quote of his that I use all the time. Oh, okay. But you're not sure if he said it? I, I don't know. If it's a tribute to him or if he okay. actually did say it. Well, anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Which one should I wink with? Your best eye. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, following the commentaries, access to polls, doubles, pick what we watch next, or if you want to be like Uber Geek and request a movie for yourself, 
Check it out. Our link's down below. That's right. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.